Hello, everybody, and welcome to a guide on any and everything related to drones. I get questions all the time on my stream. I think you know what comes next. Twitch.tv slash World of Gaming, by the way. About number one, if drones are any good in the first place, and number two, if they are, when should they be purchased? To begin, let's cover the types of drones and their basic functionalities. First off, all drones are airborne minus the gunner turret, and they will do their best to follow you around. Unfortunately, their best isn't very good. Drones love level up with the player, gaining increases to their health, health region, and damage or healing according to their respective type. This means that they technically scale in power, but again, it's not by very much. I'll explain why towards the end of the video. The cost of a drone scales like the cost of any interactable, with the baseline cost of each drone being different. Also, when a drone dies, you're able to repurchase it, albeit at a new price according to the current scaling. You don't get to buy it back for the same price that you paid originally. There are also also stage restrictions for which stage a specific drone can spawn on. Now there are three main categories that a drone can fall under damage, healing, and utility. These types are exclusive, meaning that there is not any overlap between the types of drones. They will each fall into one specific category. In the damage category, we have gunner turrets, which fire a steady stream of bullets, pretty much like a minigun, and cost 1.4 times the price of a regular chest. Turrets are exclusive to both stage ones, wetland aspect, and both stage fours. Gunner drones fire a burst of bullets every few seconds and cost 1.6 times a regular chest price. The gunner drones are exclusive to both stage ones, wetland aspect, and rally point delta. Missile drones fire a barrage of missiles and cost 2.4 times a regular chest. Note that they do not have AOE damage. The missiles must be direct hits. They are exclusive to abandoned aqueducts and both stage fours. Incinerator drones are essentially mobile flamethrowers and cost four times the price of a regular chest. They are exclusive to scorched acres and abyssal depths. The fire drone is exclusive to the fire stages. <laughs> When Hopu. Finally, the big boy TC-280 prototype, which is a souped up amalgamation of a gunner and missile drone, costs a whopping 14 times the price of a regular chest. Also, you will only find this guy on Rally Point Delta. In the healing category, we have the healing drone, which emits a singular stream of healing every few seconds and costs 1.6 times a regular chest. Its spawn is exclusive to both stage ones, wetland aspect, and both stage fours. And the emergency drone, which is essentially an upgraded healing drone and costs four times a regular chest. The emergency drone's heals affect multiple targets simultaneously, and it heals for a larger amount than a regular healing drone. It is exclusive to both stage ones, wetland aspect, and both stage fours. Finally, in the utility category, we have the lonely equipment drone, which takes your equipment and uses it whenever it is off cooldown. Its price is your equipment, not your money. You will only find this guy on scorched acres and both stage fours. All right, let's talk some specifics now that you know the basics of each drone. The equipment drone is pretty self-explanatory. Its activation requires you to give it your currently held equipment. It doesn't cost money. No, it costs your equipment. I'm guessing that most of your all's relationship with the equipment drone has been something along the lines of, oh, hey, cool, wonder what this does. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second, give it back. Hey, come here. Did you seriously just miss that? I've never missed, by the way. Yep, the equipment drone takes your equipment and never gives it back. You are able to buy back the drone upon its death, but you do not get your equipment back. You must have a new equipment for it to yoink, and then guess what? If it dies again, you'll need another equipment, and so on so forth. Equipment drones are basically glorified decoys and nothing else. Give them a foreign fruit or a wood sprite and let them tank as many enemies as possible until they inevitably die. The fact that they have no special abilities and, more importantly, no items, means that their equipment's effects are laughably bad. Think about how much damage a prion accumulator, a capacitor, etc. will do with literally zero other items. Yeah, that's an equipment drone for you. For the healing drones, I find both to be quite useful, especially early on into a run, because they will enable you to play hyper aggressively with much less risk due to constantly topping off your health after small hits. Emergency drones are absolutely worth prioritizing over their regular counterparts as they heal multiple targets over a longer range and for a greater amount. Not to mention they have double the health on top of all of that. If you have at least two emergency drones, they can keep one another alive 
alive with no issue easily for the first two loops of a run. If you're finding yourself lacking in healing and overall survivability, picking up a couple emergency drones will change that for the better. Finally here, let's talk about the damage drones. Gunner turrets are pretty bad. Maybe if you have one right next to the teleporter, sure, grab it and let it wail on the boss for a bit. Otherwise, the fact that they can't move means that they are literally sitting ducks just waiting to die. Their issue, and really the problem with all drones for that matter, is that they scale extremely poorly the later a run goes. There is a drastic difference between their health and damage versus that of the monsters. Basically, your drones will inevitably just turn into decoys that draw the attention of monsters for a bit and sacrifice themselves doing so. That's pretty much it. The gunner, missile, and incinerator drones have the benefit of flying around, but still, aside from drawing aggro off of you, their usefulness is limited at best outside of the first loop of a run. These drones take multiple barrages of damage for them to kill even a singular regular beetle or lemurian, and trying to take down an elder lemurian or a greater wisp is nigh impossible. So again, your main reason for taking them should be to draw the attention of other monsters off of you and onto them. Finally, let's talk about the chunky T. C280 prototype. Remember, he can only spawn on Rally Point Delta and costs 14 times a regular chest. Given all of that exclusivity, he must be pretty good, right? I mean, look at how much HP he has too. No, the simple answer is no. The TC280 is not worth it. He is actually the perfect representation of what is wrong with drones overall. On paper, the TC280 has great damage coupled with some cool abilities, but in reality, it acts as an even bigger bullet sponge to draw aggro off of you and nothing else. The de facto issue, again, with all drones is that their main purpose, whether that be damage or healing, does not not scale at even close to the same rate as you or the monsters. Sure, they level up with you and grow in their HP and damage stats, however they have absolutely no synergy with the plethora of items you'll get over the course of a run. Think about how much damage you'd be doing on stage 5 with literally zero damage related items. You'd be using abilities and solely relying on your base damage to kill things. How well do you think your run would be going? Yeah, it's pretty easy to guess, right? You'd be dealing next to zero damage and would take ages to kill anything more than a beetle. That's drones in a nutshell. Even if you put aside their other issues, like their AI for pathing, picking targets, swapping focus, etc., the simple fact is that drones scale poorly very poorly. You are much better off spending your money on chests and multi-shots because the power you get from them is permanent in your run. Drones may be tempting to get early on, and again, for healing drones, I do recommend them in some cases, but the fact that they turn into glorified hunks of scrap metal after the first loop of a run makes them a poor choice overall in any run. Maybe if their prices were lowered 14 times, by the way, and their scalability was addressed, maybe they would deserve some more attention, but as it currently stands, unless you want to go for the ultimate meme build of a backup with 10 fuel cells and heaps upon heaps of other drones, your best bet is to ignore them entirely. If you are a proponent of the meme build and want to tell me why I'm actually Papega for not seeing the drone's hidden potential, leave a like or dislike on the video and a comment below to let me know what you think. You can follow my stream over at twitch.tv slash woollygaming and consider joining our Discord server as well for a place to hang out with others and talk Risk of Rain too. Thank you for watching.